Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lincoln, Nebraska. The local time is 6.55. All in. All in. Since I'm standing up, I guess I will set the stage uh, to give a little prep time because this is our first official road trip. When you are new to Maryland, uh, you have to get up uh, at any point tonight when you feel comfortable and uh, you can give whatever you want, a dance, a skit, a uh, song, I mean, you can, your teammates can help you. And you could tell the freshmen, they were, they were really thinking hard about it, just panicking and um, I feel like they're just, you know, it's a time just to, to let loose and just let people see who you really are and just, I mean, it's family, you know? You know, I was actually kind of nervous because um, maybe, you know, she did the juggling. <laughs> you had some pretty good, uh, you had some pretty good hidden talents. I mean, obviously you had tremendous athleticism with Melina and her uh, cartwheel round off worm. <laughs> A lot of my teammates try to be acrobatic. <laughs> we had a lot of physical things going on. And so I thought, you know, an Adam with a wall push up, that was awesome. So it was like, man, I got to set my game up. and. And I went in the hallway with Chloe and we were kind of brainstorming together because she hadn't gone yet. And then, I mean, I'm just thinking, I'm just going to go for it. Get it over, Katie. You got flexibility. Oh. 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 Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. I know a big one was a tyranny's, you know, donkey kick. <laughs> I mean, I probably wouldn't encourage her to ever do that again. <laughs> squirrel calls. A lot of people never heard a squirrel call before. Let's just pretend we're sitting in the forest. <laughs> and all of a sudden you hear. When she did that, I think everybody got a good laugh out of that. For her to just, you know, let loose and just be her was it was a really good, cool thing to see. One of our um, new managers, Amy, 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 she recited all the books of the Bible. I went to a private Christian school my entire life, so I can recite all the books of the Bible. Oh. So oh. I know I went to Christian school in high school, and I can't really name all of them like she did. So here we go. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles. You know, not only to see her do it, but you get to learn a little bit more about Amy and like um, where she's coming from and what she's about. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, Corinthians 1 and 2. You know, I thought that was pretty cool to see because she's kind of a quiet kid, and but she does so much and then you see that and you're like, whoa, like this is a pretty special person. John 1, 2 and 3, Jude and Revelation. <laughs> Hey guys, this is uh, Brian Williams. He was uh, my extraordinary academic advisor when I played back in the day at Arizona. So obviously when, uh, yeah, definitely. When you talk about people who have had an impact on your life, Brian has had a huge impact on my life and um, came here to be able to support us today. And she was uh, on the basketball team at the University of Arizona and I was responsible for about seven sports and basketball was one of those. I got to know Brenda really well as a person and as a great person and uh, also played basketball. Uh, I mean, it's been years. When's the last oh. time we've seen each other? We haven't seen each other in person in a very long time. So, you know, um, just reconnecting and, and seeing the people in his life that uh, have had a, a huge impact on, on him as well. Like Heather. Hi. 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 I thought it was important for our players to be able to see the kind of impact 
so many people have in your life, coaches, staff, support staff. You know, I wanted our players to be able to see, you know, later in life you are still going to have this dynamic and this relationship if you want it. And, uh, you know, obviously Brian Williams had a tremendous impact on me uh, while I was a student athlete at Arizona and it still continues to this day. Senior high school at age 17, I broke my neck on Christmas morning. Coming in from midnight church shock service, slipped on black ice in my car. I flew 120 feet in the air, forward, and about 20 feet up, and I was awake the whole time. Words can't describe that speech. Um, just the, the way he came in there and just, you know, told us a story, I feel like it really fired us up. I feel like we all just focused in on him and just listened to what he had to say. Miracles happen every day. You need to always remember to to uh, do your very best, even when things are hard. And just remember, enthusiasm is what, what gets you the furthest. The tremendous thing was, you know, just to see a person who, you know, injured themselves and while they were in high school and just how, you know, that they, they didn't allow their injuries to stop them. They didn't make up excuses on how they couldn't, uh, he didn't make up excuses as how, you know, he couldn't do anything or how he wasn't capable of doing everything. It says a lot about our team that, you know, even though we are going through our, our adversity, I mean, it can always be worse. So you win as a team and you lose as a team from the number one player to a walk-on. You know, I thought he delivered his speech it was just beautiful. I mean, you know, it gave uh, a background and history, uh, you know, of, of who he is and, and, you know, obviously a tremendous, you know, student athlete, you know, back in the day himself when he was coming up. And then, you know, all of a sudden, one night, you know, your, your life can, can change in an instant. Got no use of my hands. I got no triceps paralyzed from here down. But every day's great and I'm going to oh. Play your best, and that's all you can ask for. And I think, you know, those lessons for all of us are so important, you know, to value every single moment, every breath that, that you get to have because your life, you know, can, can turn in, in some sort of direction in, in the instant of a heartbeat and um, just, you know, appreciating the moment. You got two pencils in front of you, right? I want you to take the first one, okay? And I want you to break it in half. The first one, do your second one, pass it to the middle. These together. How many were in here? 11, 11. Now I want you to break it. <laughs> Give it all your strength, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to think about how easy did that first pencil break? And then, then you talk about, you know, 11 strong here. Okay, 11 strong, how, you know, nobody could break it. Every single time you get ready to tip the ball up, the only way teams are able to be successful is when you have each other. When you have each other, nobody can break a team. Nobody. There's going to be a ton of adversity in this game tonight. A ton. You know it. You go out and you show them what Maryland basketball is all about. Maryland basketball is about being a team. You stick together, you work hard, you fight for each other. The Nebraska game, it was a great game, but it was crazy. You know, I mean, I mean the game, we were, we were doing well. I mean, we started seeing people go down. 18 went down early in the game, like the first four minutes. Well, I cramped really early in the game, like the first four minutes, and just really couldn't shake it and just was exhausted, just really tired. And so um, to get you know, my hydration back up. They, they put an IV in me at halftime, so I came out running out in like last minute and um, they had to put Katie in. Lutan, three, left side, it's good. And then they put me in right after that. Thomas off to the races, coast to coast, glide and layup, good. So then we see Chloe go down. Second Terrapin to go down. Terrapins will sub in Katie Rutan. We had, um, obviously we had the cramping issues during the game. I was really, I've never seen that before. I've never gotten bad cramps in a game, so I, and I didn't know that like so many people on the team got them like that. Are they anxiety cramps, you know, does that play into it? Um, probably, yes, absolutely. You're playing, a, um, um, you're traveling across the country, um, you're playing in a, a pretty high profile game, you know, against a, a very a good opponent. Um, and there's a lot that goes into it, you know, the days leading up to help try to um, uh, 
minimize the risk of that happening with those you know, specific individuals um, are critical. It tends to increase at like high level games because the anxiety increases. When your anxiety increases a little, you'd burn through everything a little bit quicker. Right baseline shot off the rim, no good. Mincy gets the rebound. While I was dribbling up the court, um, I was trying to get to the middle, but as I was pushing off to create space, I felt my knee twist and I just fell to the floor immediately. My first thought was, Lauren, get up. <laughs> Lauren Mincy lying down on the court right now. Terrapins have already lost two players to ACL injuries this season. I think I pretty much knew right then that it was more serious than um, I had assumed it was before. Um, usually when I get injured, I hop right back up, but this was something way different. You know, I, I didn't know quite for sure, you know, uh, if it was an ACL, but I, I do know this. I know Lauren Mincy's a tough kid, and uh, if she's on the floor and stays down, something's not, not good. Um, when Lauren went down, the first thing you want to do is get to the court and get her calm and get her to the sideline, because that's really where you're going to do your evaluation. You're not going to really do much of it on the court. As Lauren Mincy's being helped up, slowly but surely. I laid there for a couple of more seconds, and um, then they helped me up off the court. I was able to, you know, just walk off the court. Um, and after I got off the court, um, Megan told me to get on the bike, you know, just to warm it up. And I noticed right away that I couldn't even pedal a full turn around, around the bicycle. And um, she asked me, was I good to go in? And I said no. Look at it as I have to you know, stay calm and collective because, you know, our freshmen, they're being put in roles that they didn't expect to be put in this year. And so if, you know, the upperclassmen aren't calm, then they're not going to be calm. So we, we try to just, just to play balance. You got one kid that goes down during the game. You got cramps. There's all this adversity, 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 and they just blew it out of the water. Rebound track down. Here's Thomas up and rims in good. We brought more freshmen in and we actually expanded the lead to, to over 20 points when, when Lauren went down. Takes into the lane, here's Furman, left baseline, rims out and in good. You would have never known that we, we lost the player that day because everyone stepped up and, and played their best game. Another defensive impact play by her. Lead feet on the fast break, left hand layup up and good by Hawkins. You come away with this great win, uh, a lot of adversity obviously between injury and uh, players cramping up and so you're ready to go into the locker room and celebrate with your team and I walk around the corner and all I see is um, a room uh, full of players on the floor getting uh, worked on. <laughs> Getting treatment, it looked like they were in an emergency room. I was um, I was complaining about my calves, and then immediately Melina and um, Teddy came. I was like, TT, I'm gonna start your calves. And I was like, at first I was like, no, 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 no. And then Melina's like, no, no, I got, it. I do whatever it takes. So now I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> you know, they're great teammates, so they're trying to take care of each other. Um, of course, you had Brene, and uh, she's had a lot of experience with uh, rehab and physical therapy, so she was. <laughs> Um, she was first to jump right in and, and help out. People laid across each other, rubbing cramps, rubbing calves, rubbing arms, legs, necks, and backs. And I'm just like, today must have been a really, really hard game. And, you know, um, we did fight for each other that game. To me, seeing everybody helping each other out after the game was just kind of showing their love for each other, you know. They were having fun and they were enjoying each other. And it, it was kind of cool to see, um, see them step up and try to help each other out.